what he so to me it was my life it was my opportunity it was my knock on the door it was my only guarantee i had so it's spiritual so it's true so- this test is the jra ultimate test for just riding along and what it simulates is a massive jump casing where the fork would be driven into uh, the side of the jump where you're coming up short. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to basically try and crush the bike by pushing the bottom bracket toward the front axle with a totally rigid unbendable fork and we're going to try and crush the bike frame and, uh, and see what happens. Give us some call-outs with the uh, force over there, Peter. We're at 650 pounds right now. 850. We're at 1050. Uh, 1150. 13. <laughs> you can see that Whoa. solid steel fork stuck in bend. Okay, so uh, for the first time, we're going to break a uh, carbon frame on uh, video here with Pink White guys. And the frame here, instead of going and pulling something brand new out of stock, um, we're going to take a frame that two years ago went through two different fatigue tests, those 200,000 cycles of fatigue. Then it was impact tested on two different tests and didn't break. And then uh, it was ridden for two years by an employee, and uh, he just got a new frame. So we're going to throw it back on the test machine and, and actually smash it this time. So we'll see what all of that abuse leaves us with. 450. 690, 900 pounds, 1,200 pounds, 1,400 pounds, 1,600 pounds, 1,700, 1,900 pounds. So we're in the Santa Cruz test lab. We're going to do a JRA impact test. So we're going to drop weights right on the fork of the bike, holding the bottom bracket. We're going to try and break an aluminum nomad, and then we're going to compare the carbon nomad to it. Uh, JRA is uh, just riding along, and uh, usually when we get bikes back like this, somebody drove their car into their garage on the roof rack. Well, uh, what we have here is uh, Sven Martin's old Carbon Nomad. Uh, he was so vain that he wanted the latest color and just dropped this one off to trade up for the uh, latest color before he went to New Zealand. So uh, we're going to take his frame and we're going to smash it and see what happens. Aluminum broke that last one. I think we should leave it. Although it is Sven's bike, so maybe we should break it. So we just did double the height uh, on the Carbon Nomad. The aluminum one started breaking around 450, and uh, then it just buckled as we hit it at um, 600 after that. And this one just went up to 900 millimeters, and it's just bouncing. So it's no surprise Sven couldn't break it. But we could add some more weight and see what happens. Like this 
actually been through all the tests. It's been we just I can't hey, is it, you got a, a cement thing here, you know? You can just go like <laughs> see this thing. Yes. <laughs> oh. Do that again. <laughs> you ready? Yeah.